Science. Expanding the frontiers of human knowledge. Discovering preventions and cures for disease. Creating innovations for the betterment of mankind. That's what I used to think. But now I know that science is like everything else. It's all about the money. But I never would have found that out if my advisor hadn't made me do the purchasing for our lab. Come in. Hey, Vincent. Brian? Um, I've been going over some purchase orders for the past few weeks, and there's some items I wanted to ask you about that haven't come into the lab, or I haven't seen them anyway, and they're pretty expensive, and I was wondering if I should call shipping or something. Do you know anything? There's no problem with these items, Ryan. Um, our genomics collaborators have them. They need them for their research. They've come in. Okay, they have. Oh, yeah. that's great. All right. Yeah, by the way, I just got off the phone with Jack at Cylon. Oh, really? Yeah, they're really interested in your work. I, I think they're going to make you an offer. Wow. Once you finish your thesis, of course. Well, thanks a lot for talking to him. So, yeah, just get back out there, crank on the data. You know, don't worry about that sort of thing. That's, that's my job. All right. Thanks a lot. No problem. Maybe I should have done what Professor Crow said. I should have stopped worrying about purchasing, cranked out my thesis, and got the hell out of there. But I was a scientist, and it was my job to be curious. I mean, where were all those things we were ordering from Enterprise Biofarm? When I asked our genomics collaborators about it, they had no idea what I was talking about. So I'm telling you, Intel and Microsoft have got it set up. So as soon as you log on online, they're tracking you. And you think the government's going to help you? Forget it. The government's been in this from the start. This thing goes deep. I mean, even my advisor. All I need him to do is to help you know, get me some time on the mainframe. But no, he's off fly fishing with Bill Gates or something. This we're pretty lucky. Our advisor is pretty good. Hey, don't be so sure about that. Look, I've got something to say, and it might sound crazy, and it might be the Murphys talking, but I think Crow has embezzled his grant money through a dummy corporation. Oh, you're drunk. No, I'm not drunk. Well, maybe I am, but no, look. I'm doing purchasing. I know, okay? The money gets sent to these corporations, but nothing ever comes to us. I'm convinced, and this is serious. So does he fly fish? Well, now I'd done it. It was out in the open. Now I really needed solid evidence. It took a trip to the records office in the basement of City Hall to find it, but there it was. Enterprise Biofarm, where most of our three million dollar genomics grant had gone, was not only secretly owned by my professor Vincent Crow, but it reported zero revenue for the past five years. If I wasn't sure before, I was now. Hey Ryan. Hey Laura. Are you still worried about that, what you were talking about the other night? Yeah, I am actually. You know, maybe you should go talk to McPherson. After all, he's the department head. He's a really good guy. So this is all the information I've gathered so far, and I'm really concerned about it. Well, you did the right thing by coming to me. I'm going to have to take this up with the Chancellor, Okay. but uh, we'll take care of it. All right. So, thanks for stopping by. Yes, thanks Thanks a lot for listening. And uh, don't worry about it. We'll say everything's handled. And if you need anything, come to me. Okay. We need to talk. Yeah. Ryan, I think we need to talk. Okay, Ryan, it looks like there's going to be an investigation into all those pieces of laboratory equipment that we paid for that never arrived and aren't accounted for. But I don't want you to worry about this too much. I'll protect you. Huh? What? Huh? What? Look, you may not be the brightest student I ever had, so maybe I should spell this out for you. Your name 
is on all those purchase orders for all those things that well, we don't have, yeah, that we can't account for. No, but you, you approve them, right? And Your signature is on those orders. I didn't approve anything. And it doesn't make me look good to have one of my graduate students being investigated for fraud. This is a very serious matter. You know, before I told you that your job was at the bench, that that's real work, that you shouldn't be doing paperwork. Now, get back to work. Get out. I don't have time for this. Now I was really in over my head. I decided to give my old friend Ballard a visit. I got on the subway and headed down to the low rent district. Ballard and I were friends in college, but we had kind of drifted apart. But he was still the best person to ask for advice about this kind of thing. Hey man, it's Ryan. Dude, Ryan, what the fuck? What's up? Oh, not much. I haven't seen you in ages, man. Not since that party at Athena's. Oh, yeah. We're totally all over that chick. What's her face? Yeah, but that's over now. Oh, man, that's too bad. She totally could have given Jen Lopez a run for the money. Huh, well, I have some slightly bigger problems now. Yeah, yeah? You want to become a client? No, no, that's okay. That's good, okay. good, good. This is some bad shit, you know, and no medicinal value whatsoever. Mm. So what, uh, what do you want? Well, look, uh, there's some serious shit going down at work. Yeah? Um, and I think my boss has embezzled two million dollars. Wow. So who else knows about this? I can't believe my paper got rejected by itself. I mean, what does not of general interest mean? My stuff's interesting, right? Don't worry, sweetie. I'll get it into PNAS for you. So what, you think they're setting me up? Of course they're trying to set you up. Jeez, do you really think that English dude's gonna sell out his pal? Okay, well then I'm just gonna go straight to the university. No, man, don't go straight to the university. You know what they're gonna do? They're just gonna cover it up. Look, if I wanna come slice jeans or something, I'm gonna go talk to you. But greed and corruption, that's my world. That's my business. Trust me on this. Don't go to the university. Excuse me, I gotta get this. Hey, baby. A Lewinsky instead of a uh, set of cash? That sounds fair. All right, see you in a bit. All right, well, it looks like you got your hands full now, so I'm, I'm going to take off. Yeah, yeah, I got a customer coming by. You know, just lay low, chill out, and don't do anything. All right. And hey, thanks for listening. Sure. I was wondering if you had heard anything in progress on that matter I asked you about. I told you. It's been taken care of. Hey Ryan, it's nice outside. Why don't we just go out for a coffee? Okay. So, did you want to talk about something? Yeah, actually, I do. So, I think I think you're in trouble, and I think you should get out of the city. I know it sounds crazy. Really? Is this about what's been going on with Vincent? Yeah. So, last week at Sarah's wedding, I overheard Vincent and Stu talking. What are we going to do about Ryan? There's no worry about that. They're all accidents happen all the time. I know Crow is a total asshole, and he's crooked, but I mean, what's he going to do, kill me? I don't know. Wait, what do you mean you don't know? Look, I know him better than you do. I know him a lot better. I'm such an idiot. I thought he was so kind, but... He's just, he's such a calculating asshole and...
You started helping me with my experiments and my thesis. It's a lie. And now he wants to hurt you, and I don't... Hey. I don't know. I don't know what to do. Hey, Laura, let's just, let's just go to the police, all right? No, no, we cannot go to the police. I mean, he's thought... You don't understand. He's, he's thought of everything. He has all your signatures on all the forms, and I've been involved in this for a year, and I haven't said anything. And, uh, he's, you know he wants to hurt you, and he's serious. Well, it's going to be okay, all right? Think of something. Think of something. Well, I mean, man, this stuff, this is just so fucked up. I, I don't know what the hell is going on, but, um, but anyway, thanks for letting me stay at your place. Hey, no yeah. problem. Hey, here's the key. All right, thanks a lot. I'm just going to run home and get some stuff first. Okay, dude? Yeah. Be careful. Hello? Hello, Ryan. I haven't seen you at work the last few days. I just want to make sure you're at home, not lying dead in a ditch somewhere. Um, yeah, yeah, I've been sick for a few days. We'll get some rest, okay? And don't worry about coming to work. Goodbye. Bye. Who was that on the phone? It was him. You still think forwarding your calls is a crazy idea? McPherson, it's me. I've taken care of our problem. There it was. My mentor, Professor Crow, the man I'd spent the last five years of my life working for, had just destroyed everything I owned and everything I was. In my mind, there was only one option. Don't look, it's a perfect cover. No one looks for a dead man. But I don't want to be a dead man. I, I don't want to have to start my life over again. Then it's fine. You can go back to lab and get him to sign your thesis. Is that what you want? I want revenge, okay? I want to hurt this bastard. I want to break his kneecaps. I want to run him over with a car. I want to cut his head off with a chainsaw. Hey, hey, let's not get I... kinky. Well, can't we just ambush him or something? I mean, you know how this kind of thing is done, right? Let's just... Yeah, yeah, but none of this, none of this, you know, whacking his head off with a chainsaw, with a chainsaw shit. Man, it's that's just though. me. Dude, I haven't seen you this pissed, like, ever. All right? If you want to get back at him, you got to just calm down and think about things for a bit so you don't do anything stupid. All right, so why did he blow up your place? Because he's a sick fuck? No, because you knew about the money. Yeah, right? yeah, I knew about the money. But then... Good deal. But why would he blow up your place? I mean, he had you framed pretty good, right? I mean, it's your name on all the paperwork. Unless... He's not finished yet. What do you mean? What do you mean he's not finished yet? No, he's finished me pretty well. His money's not safe. It's not sitting in a Swiss bank account or anything. Otherwise, he wouldn't have had to kill you, right? He had you set up, he had you set up pretty good. So, we need to find out what he's doing with the money. So we can get the money, right? Yeah, so we can get the two million bucks. Okay, I really like that idea, but I also want to get him. Don't worry, man. We'll get him and his money. And we just need to find out exactly what he's doing. Okay. I know a guy who can help us. I need to get this into his phone. developed this
fascinating, Professor Crow. So when a researcher gets a government grant, the university takes 50% for overhead? That's right. Things like electrical bills, fresh flowers for the chancellor's breakfast table, wine and cheese receptions for visiting donors. These things are all paid for with overhead. The NIH won't notice that there's even more money taken out for, shall we say, other overhead expenses. I got this idea when I got fed up with the university taking all of my hard-earned grant money. I see. And now you're ready to leave the university and become an associate of our organization. Exactly, Mr. Colasanta. Our board of directors will require an initial investment of one million units. One million units. I can deliver that many units. Very well. Meet me at the marina two days from now at 5 o'clock. Our board needs to know if we're dealing with a professional or a mere amateur. Goodbye, Professor Crow. Goodbye. Our board needs to know if we're dealing with a professional or a mere amateur. Goodbye, Professor Crow. What was that all about? Yeah, who was he talking to? Could you yeah. trace that? Give me a second. Yeah, I got it. Colasanti and Keck Olive Oil Importers. Olive Oil? Damn! Whoa, is, is there some problem about it? So who is Colasanti? That was Don Colasanti. The Colasanti crime family? What? You're telling me now he's messed up with the goddamn Mafia? Lord, did you know about this? No, this is news to me. Man, cross one tricky mofo. I've heard about this type of stuff before. He wants to buy his way into the Mafia. You see, you don't just show up and ask to join in like it's a goddamn country club. That million bucks is a symbol. It shows that he's got talent. All right, okay, let me get this straight. So Crow is going to show up at the marina tomorrow with a million dollars to give to the Mafia? Now that gives me an idea. You got the backup plan? Got it right here. this up. Hey, Crow. You need to have a talk. Brian, you can't even die when I ask you to. You know, the university is going to find out what you've been doing. And I'm not going to take the fall for you. You know, Ryan, is your advisor or something I need to tell you? What? No! Fuck! Oh. Oh. I will. I've already gotten away with it. What's that? Fuck. I don't have time for this. Ryan. <laughs> Pleasure to meet you, Mr. Colasante. Welcome, Professor Crow. One million units. Did you make the switch? <coughs> 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 
<coughs> we got it. Is, is there a problem? It's clear we're dealing with an amateur. Although the Colasantes didn't think highly of Professor Crow, they were impressed by his idea. Now the faculty in the department long for the days when their overhead only paid for electrical bills, fresh flowers for the chancellor's table, and wine and cheese receptions. I never did finish my thesis, but I did pick up some things in grad school. About a million of them. Like I said, it's all about the money.